a decade after one of the largest school cheating scandals in history. Seven former Atlanta Public School employees are still in court fighting to clear their names. I sat down with one of the convicted teachers who's out on appeal working to prove her innocence and the investigators behind the conviction. This is his handprint. The birth of Shawnee Robinson's child will forever be linked to one of the most trying times in her life. <laughs> And it wasn't because of the baby. This is just something like a little flyer that they put out. And it says, Shawnee is one of the 11 educators convicted and awaiting sentencing. She is expecting her first child and is due any day now. Amari was born 10 days after Robinson and 10 other Atlanta public school educators were convicted for cheating on state standardized tests called the CRCTs. Georgia used the scores to determine how well students were doing in math and reading and other subjects. When the 2009 CRCT results came back, struggling students miraculously had exceptional scores. The students couldn't do it. You can't make that kind of progress under those circumstances, but yet the test results said that it was being made. It wasn't. It was a lie. Former prosecutor Bob Wilson was one of the investigators then Governor Sonny Perdue appointed to look into what some suspected was widespread cheating, not by the kids, but by the educators themselves. It started at the top. Dr. Beverly Hall was the superintendent of the schools. So you think this is something Dr. Hall actually sat down and thought about? Did she scheme it out? No, but she turned her head. Dr. Hall put immense pressure on her leadership team, especially in the academic side and the principals, to achieve certain scores and certain advancements. And she made it very clear, sitting right where we are right now, that she would accept no excuses and there would be no exceptions. Some of Dr. Hall's own staff said as much during the trial. My evaluation was tied to student achievement. It was a hard decision to make, but I just did it and I know it was a wrong decision. I honestly, know the difference that one person, one educator can make in a person's life. And I wanted to be that person for kids. Wilson's team, along with Fulton County DA Paul Howard's office, implicated 178 APS educators in the years-long cheating scandal. Were you guys just trying to make an example out of APS because, you know, other school districts had unusual test scores as well? Atlanta's was systematic. APS went to massive extreme of wrongdoing, so much so that it was criminal. Nearly half of the educators implicated either confessed or took plea deals, but not Robinson, pregnant and all. I mean, it, it, it was horrifying. It was horrifying. I mean, just, you know, you wake up one day and everything is normal. And then later you realize you've been charged with two crimes that could land you in prison for 25 years. And for what? I didn't do anything wrong. You didn't change the test score? No. You didn't change the answers? No. I was angry that I had been falsely accused. I was angry that I had been charged with racketeering. It was never our intention just to get at them. This is one thing that that act did. It allowed us to try all of the defendants together. Robinson has never doubted teachers cheated, especially those in economically disadvantaged areas. But she believes the district and state leaders used the teachers as scapegoats to avoid addressing larger problems in public education. If you can place all the blame on the teachers, on educators, you don't ever have to fix any of the root causes on what, you know, why cheating occurred. I'm sorry, children were hurt. Face the truth. Stop making excuses for yourself. That abuse of power led to many a child being hurt because they didn't get the education they should have gotten. There is a large number of children uh, that are still, in my view, still suffering from the scores that were changed. I wish that there was some way that our community could go back and aid those children. But time keeps moving forward. Robinson's son, Amari, is now four. One more year, closer to going into the same public education system 
that's now made his mother a convicted criminal fighting to clear her name. I want him to go to public school. I still believe in public education. I feel like there is hope if we can address some of these root issues. Up next. The numbers didn't add up. They were not on grade level. The road ahead for a cheated generation. Some of those children might be in jail. Some of them might not have ever gotten a job. When state investigators revealed a decade ago that thousands of students in the public education system had been cheated out of an education, there was community outrage. Several Atlanta public school educators were eventually prosecuted for changing test scores to make it look like kids were doing better in class than they actually were. Well, 10 years later, a reveal investigation has found the programs that were meant to help those students catch up have largely missed their target. I keep everything. <laughs> My ultrasound pictures, the day they started walking, all the accolades from school. Time has tried to make Erica Hurd forget about a lot. We've come a long, long way. But mementos she's kept hidden in boxes over the years are occasional reminders, like these long faded report cards. I have them all so I can keep up with them. So when they become famous, these are gonna be archives. Two of Erica's children, Christopher and Eric were in elementary school when she found out they were among the more than 3,000 students identified as victims of the Atlanta public school cheating scandal. On average, researchers at Georgia State University found students affected by the cheating scandal lost up to half a year's worth of learning in certain subjects. For me as a parent and a person that's went to APS, it, it really was something that hit me in my heart. He was not meeting standards but he was passing the test. He had C's. The numbers didn't add up. They were not on grade level. How far back would you say they were? At least two years behind. The 17-year-old, who was in 11th grade at the time, told the court she was several grades behind her classmates. I'm still in middle school reading. I think it's the sixth grade reading level. Former Governor Sonny Perdue even choked up in court at the thought of it. These kids only get one shot elementary school, they only get one shot. You know, I don't care whether, you know, if they're being cheated on their behalf, they're being cheated. With the country's eye on Georgia, local leaders made promises they would make the kids whole. One of those promises turned into a program called Target 2021. The number represents the year the last impacted student would graduate from high school. Doing nothing was not an option. For the last year, Dina Rogers has been the APS coordinator for Target 2021 working out individual attention for the affected students. Ten years later, how are these students coping? They're learning. Um, they are thriving. But this new report by Georgia State has a different conclusion. It says after five semesters, quote, the effect of Target 2021 participation on attendance is zero. It had no effect on students' grade point average in core academic subjects. And in some cases, Target 2021 students had slightly lower scores. In other words, the program has failed to hit its target. Has APS once again cheated its students if the course that was supposed to help them has failed? Well, it, the, the program has helped our students. If you look at his study, it's showing that there wasn't a statistical difference. It doesn't mean that we weren't making gains. It's just either the results were the same or it wasn't statistically enough to make a difference. In the face of all of this, what researchers have done, how can we say the program is working? Overall, we may not be seeing those huge numbers, but we have individual students and schools that are benefiting from the program. So you're happy with what the program is doing? I'm happy, can we do better? Yes. The reveal has also uncovered there was another program. Redemption Academy was to target the other 3,500 students who had already graduated APS when the cheating came to light. But we found the Fulton County DA's office never even got it off the ground as it promised. When we started uh, with uh, what we thought was a noble idea, we did not realize how really difficult it was. District Attorney Paul Howard says they needed $30 million and they couldn't find the people they were supposed to help. Some of those children might be in jail. Some of them might not have ever gotten a job because of the poor educations they received. Do you take any responsibility in that? Oh yeah, I, I wish that I could have done a better job, even though I'm not an educator, I'm a prosecutor. 
I wish that I could have done something to help those children. Do you have any intentions of actually creating this program or continuing to attempt to create well, it? Well, maybe after your new story, maybe, maybe that'll happen. For now, a failed promise, a missed target, and no redemption. But Roger says APS isn't giving up. We will not stop until our students are successful. The data might not show it, but APS says parents and students are satisfied with the extra help their kids are getting in and outside the classroom because of Target 2021. When they were small, this is Christopher. Heard and her son Christopher are prime examples. I think it's done exceptional for them, especially my children. Before I was making C's, now I haven't had a C in high school at all. My future is going to be successful. Faith, after all these years, people are still divided on this story and it's still so emotional. I'm curious, what's up with the teacher now? So she's a stay at home mom now focused on clearing her name and she just authored her first book, basically a story for her son to understand exactly what happened according to her. There are six other co-defendants who are now in appeal. We have more on them on 11alive.com.